Hi, this is a video to show you how to work out the averages and create a bar graph of your landing times for the parachute experiment. And you can see here, I filled in the data on my table for both of the different parachutes. I've indicated what I've changed, which is the material. So for parachute one, I got plastic. For parachute two, I've got kitchen towel. For you, it may be different, whatever you're changing for your independent variable here. But you can see here, I've measured the landing time in seconds for both different change variables. So parachute one or two, one and two, making sure that I keep the height say, the same um, for uh, my control variables. So I need to highlight the table, then I need to copy the table. I can open up a new tab here, and then I need to go to Google Sheets. I'm going to copy the table into the Google Sheets. Choose any square, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to wait for that to load up. Yeah, choose any square, click on the square, Control V and you can see it's loaded up there. Uh, and then I need to highlight the row for parachute one, go to the little functions symbol there, second one down, click on average, and that will work out the average flight time there. Um, if it's got recurring, like 0.3333, um, we can just ignore that. So we can just put 2.51 is fine. Uh, round it down to uh, two figures there. Again, I'm going to do the same with flight number two to work out the average. Again, it's got recurring there. I don't want to worry about that, so I'm just going to choose the first two figures there. Okay, now I've worked out the average, uh, I would like to make a graph. Um, I'm not really interested in all three flight times. I want to compare the averages so I'm going to control C, um, pick any, anyone there. It's fine. Control V of my, control C of my uh, dependent variable there. And you can see I've made a new mini table. Let's highlight that and then go to insert chart. And I'm going to make my bar graph. OK, that's not a bar graph. So I'm going to go to uh, the chart type option there. And there I can see I've made my bar graph. Click on the three dots in the corner. Copy chart. I can go back to my Google document now. Go down there and then just copy it. Control V. Uh, you don't need to link it to the spreadsheet. We just want to see the results there. And I can see clearly that parachute one had a longer landing time. So it spent longer in the air. So my conclusion here for this experiment, this data, that using plastic for my parachute as a material is a lot better than using kitchen towel. It works better as a material for a parachute because my parachute spends longer in the air.